from Indiana's news leader, Eyewitness News at Noon, starts now. It's, it's probably the worst crash I've seen in my 26 years. I've never quite seen anything like this. And this is exactly what she's talking about, this huge mess here. This is on the west side, a crash that's closed a couple of very busy roads. Inspectors are now checking out the extent of that damage. Here's what we know happened. The Rockville Road Bridge is closed in both directions. I-465 northbound shut down for now. This is a look at where it is being detoured at I-70. Carrie Klein is out there with more on what caused this mess and what it will take to reopen these roads. Carrie? Yeah, good afternoon, Naomi. More than three hours after this accident and cleanup is still underway. And as you can see, there are a number of crews and heavy pieces of equipment on scene now working to tow away some of the wreckage and begin to stabilize the Rockville Road overpass by pushing in up underneath. You can see the piece of equipment that caused all of this mess. It's called a car crusher. It's used to crush cars at places like salvage yards. A semi was transporting it northbound here along 465 when the accident happened. Now we've got some video that gives you an even closer look at what happened. As that semi approached the bridge, the metal pole on the crusher, which is controlled by hydraulics, somehow deployed, rising up into the air and tearing out the bottom of the bridge. That is according to Indiana State Police. After that, giant chunks of concrete fell down on top of surrounding cars and trucks, damaging six of those cars. Thankfully, um, only one woman was injured. She did have to be taken to the hospital, but thankfully with non-life-threatening injuries. When they pulled up, they could not believe that uh, there wasn't anyone more seriously injured uh, due to the amount of debris, what happened here, the cars involved. So everyone was extremely lucky here this morning in this accident. And now let's talk about the traffic situation. 465 northbound closed. The Rockville Road overpass closed. A team of engineers from MnDOT has been on site for over uh, several hours looking at the damage. They're still working on a timeline for how long it's going to take them to repair the bridge and reopen uh, the overpass as well as the lanes below on 465 to traffic. The latest estimate we received was it could take up to a week, but that timeline is being fine-tuned. But back out here live, you can see crews up on top of the bridge and below the bridge still working to secure things and really just kind of getting all of this started. We heard that at some point they may reopen part of the Rockville Road Bridge, the, the uh, westbound side, and make it open to eastbound and westbound traffic while they work on repairing the other side. But again, all of this is still being fine-tuned and decided as they work to to fix and, and repair what they call the worst bridge accident that state police says they've seen in over two decades. Naomi, we're going to continue to follow this story throughout the day and keep people updated on the repairs and certainly the traffic situation. Uh, Carrie, what a mess. Thank you. And again, we want to go over exactly where this happened so that you can avoid this area. This is, again, on the west side of the city. The Rockville Road Bridge is closed in both directions, and then underneath it, the northbound lanes of I-465 are shut down. Again, just the northbound lanes. This is, as Carrie mentioned, a developing story. It affects so many drivers, so we'll keep you up to date right here on Channel 13 and also on social media. Just tap your WTHR app for any more updates.